and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to go for a ride on the aerial rider grizzly as you see it right there so let's hop on and i'll tell you what we're going to talk about today kind of a blustery day here today we've had rain wind cool temperatures but not it's not going to stop us from going for a bike ride I haven't been on the Grizzly in a while, so on this video we're going to ride the Grizzly and I want to talk a bit about the Aerial Rider Grizzly this time around. And what I want to talk about is, first of all, the bike is a, a week away from turning one year old for me as owner of the bike, so in honor of that. I wanted to talk a little bit about the bike and I asked myself this question after having the bike for a year would you do it all over again would you buy it again like right now and you know that's a great question so it's a little bit different for me to answer this now because I've had the bike for a year. I know what the bike can do. So in some ways, I guess it's easier to answer whether you, you know, how you like the bike and all because you've had it for that long, a good chance to ride it and get familiar with it and know its capabilities. And basically this bike will do just about anything. You kick it into overdrive there, get you up the hill, no problem. But uh, back to the question: Would I would I buy the bike today? There's a yes and no here. First of all. In answering my own question is I'm gonna ask myself was it worth it yes I think this bike is worth the money for what it can do so that's the first question but then the question I'll keep coming back to is would you do it again it depends so my dependent depends would be this is this gonna be my only bike do I only get one shot at it and I gotta you know purchase a bike and I can only have one because right now I have more than one so it's a little bit different uh, if I had hopefully that wind isn't too strong and you're able to hear me because it is pretty pretty windy here but uh if I'm only buying one then my honest answer is Probably not because I'd want to shop around and take that money that the, the bike would cost which is $3,300 uh, unless you get it on sale which is very rare the Grizzly is hardly ever on sale and when it is I've not seen it for more than $150 or $200 off so you're usually gonna have to pay beyond three thousand dollars i paid full 3300 when i purchased the bike one year ago and so i would probably now although i love the bike i have no you know no qualms about buying it when i did i still think it's, it was a good deal but now in that year though there's been so many more bikes that have come out and um i'm a little more How do I say it? You know, like I, I have more the more bikes to choose from, I guess. So you have more to shop around and look at. So I'd probably do a look around and see, take the same amount of money and go out shopping and see what I can buy. I may come back to this bike. I may not come back to this bike because the the Lyric Graffiti is with two batteries is thirty six hundred dollars. So it's that's not on sale that's the regular price so that's 
$300 more than this bike. So if your budget was only $3,300, you might be hard, hard pressed to buy something uh, better. But I guess it's hard. That's a tough one because you could take your $3,300 down and shop around, see what else is out there. But I don't know what you're going to find. I mean, it, it probably depends on what type of bike you want you know do you want one that's uh all-wheel drive for hill climbing if you want hill climbing uh a rugged bike that can do a lot of stuff it's a little on the heavy side compared to some other uh e-bikes um but it's not that much different in weight i mean it does have the full suspension uh, I, I'd still take my money to shop around unless I can have more than one bike then I would add it to my collection but I would probably shop around a bit not to say it's not a, a good bike or anything because if you're like I say if you're going to do hill climbing oh my goodness I don't know if you're going to find much better you know like So it probably depends on you the rider and what you're looking for exactly. So I don't even know, you know, when I say I would probably shop around, I'm not even sure what I'd be looking for. I guess I'd look for all the bikes that are in that price range that I want to spend and then kind of narrow it down, you know, till I find the best ones and then keep narrowing it down till I get down to one that I really like. So but if I, it was a if it was a firm budget of 3300 I mean even to buy the uh Lyric Graffiti though I would still have to uh buy the one with one battery because the two batteries would be a little more pricier than this bike so so that is a that is a good question though. So if anybody else out there owns the uh, the Aerial Rider Grizzly, but only owns that, uh, how do you like your bike? And would you ever think of? Would you ever think of uh, shopping around for something else that's the same price? Like I say, I don't know what you're going to find anyway. Like it's... It, it'd be tough. Like it's a... It's, the dual motors really... Uh, kind of sets it apart you don't see a lot of dual motor bikes I mean there's the there's the pedal all-wheel drive bike but uh, that one is a comparable I suppose because it's the same amount of uh, wattage uh, similar in the price I don't know I think in that case with the pedal uh, electric all-wheel drive versus this one, I'd probably stick with the Grizzly uh, unless I could try that bike. That's the other thing, right? For me now, I know what this bike is. Like I say, I know what its capabilities are, what it can do. Um, there's not much things it can't do. I don't actually know, to be honest with you, I don't know of anything the bike can't do but I'd still I do my uh, due diligence I guess you'd say uh, in shopping and I may very well come back to this though I don't know it'll be tough to beat it but I definitely look around there's so many bikes out there now and there's going to be more I'm sure in the uh, months ahead
as we get more and more uh, models which I like to see I like I like a nice wide variety gives us lots to uh, choose from and it's nice to see not everybody's picking the same bike because it's kind of boring if we all have the exact same bike right so I mean I actually like when I see somebody else riding a bike that I've not seen before or I haven't seen in person I've only seen on video so uh, I kind of find that exciting but anyway yeah if you've got a comment on this video about what you would do whether you own this already or maybe you're thinking about buying it or or you would pick it I'd like to hear your uh, opinions in the uh, comments I just thought about that you know because I've had the bike now for a year and I'm thinking uh, would you do it again you know So like I say, if I was collecting more than one bike, which I now have, then yeah, it's, it'd be kind of hard to let this one go. Uh, unless I got to the point where I got too many bikes, you know, and I can't keep them all, which is unfortunate uh, because uh, if you're a e-bike rider and you're passionate about your e-bikes, it's hard to let them go, you know. It's they kind of in a way they kind of become your little family, you know. But I think I wouldn't have a problem letting some bikes go if I uh got new ones that could do the the same thing and just as good or better you know you you don't want to just uh, get rid of the bike for get for the sake of getting rid of it unless you're limited in space which I'm sure we all eventually would be limited in space unless you own a big warehouse or something you could just keep them all in there you could start a e-bike museum of your own you know that'd be kind of a fun thing but looks like i got a whole line of traffic instead of going that through all that i'm going to go back this way i don't want to wait to make a left turn there it's going to take me forever in a day it's hard to believe now that the bike is one year old but time flies when you're having fun not sure if the microphone is picking up the wind or not but the windscreen that I have on this camera seems to do a pretty pretty good job um, so it probably is keeping the wind noises down which is good
little squeak there. I don't want to go that way because I don't want to have to make a left turn. I already tried that, so I'm going to go down here. Well, that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel if you have a comment about this video or any other videos go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below if you like this video hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when that video is up doing my best to keep it on a daily basis that car is letting me get by there So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, celebrating one year with the Aerial Rider Grizzly. So until next time, take care.